At the turn of the 20th century, half a million rhinos roamed the earth. Today, barely 5% of that number exists. Now, the focus is on South Africa, one of the eight African countries where rhinos live and where the largest rhino farm is now cutting off the animal's horn in order to save its life. In less than 15 minutes, Michelle Otto's team calms the animal and saws off the horn, which they argue makes the animal less attractive to poachers, thus saving its life. The part that we trimmed was nowhere near the sensitive areas. So in essence, the part of the horn that we trimmed doesn't have any blood supply, doesn't have any nerve supply, so it, doesn't, it can't be painful to them. It would be like cutting or trimming your own nails or cutting your hair, for instance. John Hume is the owner of the farm that has 1,200 rhinos, and he says... What I'm doing here is not sustainable for me. The cost is too huge. There is only one way that I will pay for this cost. That is to sell my rhino horn and to use that money to protect my rhino. So to me, the people who are stopping me from selling my rhino horn and protecting my rhino may as well be joined with the poachers because they will kill my rhino. Just like the human fingernails, the rhino horn is only composed of keratin but is very popular in Asia where it is believed to have medicinal properties. In the black market, a kilogram of rhino horns will set you back 60,000 US dollars. Nearly 1,200 rhinos were poached in South Africa last year.